John Finolio takes a look at the report's findings and has reaction. He joins us live in studio. John? Well, Sharon, Micah, the report outlines numerous instances of President Trump's attempts to stifle the Russia investigation, but it stops short of saying he obstructed justice. Now, Democrats are furious, accusing Attorney General William Barr of providing political cover for the president, and they say the case is far from closed. President Trump beaming following the release of special counsel Robert Mueller's redacted Russia report. I'm having a good day, too. It was called no collusion, no obstruction. But the long-awaited report reveals the president's deep concerns about the nearly two-year investigation, writing... When Mr. Trump learned that the special counsel was appointed, he slumped back in his chair and said, oh my God, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I'm expletive. The Russian government sponsored efforts to illegally interfere with the 2016 presidential election, but did not find that the Trump campaign or other Americans colluded in those efforts. According to Mueller, the Trump campaign expected it would benefit from information stolen and released through Russian efforts. But the report concludes the Trump campaign did not criminally conspire with Russia. On whether the president obstructed justice, Mueller did not reach a conclusion. The president's actions and intent presents difficult issues that prevent us from conclusively determining that no criminal conduct occurred. Attorney General William Barr deciding the matter in the president's favor, saying the evidence is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. And yet the report identifies 10 instances where the president or his aides may have attempted to hinder the investigation, including firing former FBI director James Comey. And another instance in June 2017, when Mr. Trump directed White House counsel Don McGahn to have Mueller fired. McGahn refused, saying he would resign rather than trigger what he regarded as a potential Saturday night massacre. Mueller writes the president was only unsuccessful because the people around him declined to carry out orders or accede to his requests. Whether these contacts were sufficiently illicit or not to rise the level of a criminal conspiracy, they are unquestionably dishonest, unethical, immoral and unpatriotic and should be condemned by every American. And the drama continues. Democrats want Mueller to testify before Congress as soon as possible. They also want to see the full unredacted report. As for impeaching the president, well, right now Democrats appear split on the matter. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'll send it back to you. John, thank you.